And welcome back to Inside Panthers Football. I'm Kevin Donnelly here with Travell Wharton. We've been breaking down some of the Panthers rushing attack from this past season and what makes them so tough. Covered some inside outside runs with the counter and the sweep. Now what we want to get into is we've done this. Boom. We've talked this even with the little wrinkle with Cam Newton. Now I want to talk about this and what makes it so tough. And as we transition to the read option and look at some of these plays, I think that's the brilliance of the Carolina Panthers offense and what Mike Shula is trying to do on offense is he's taking a guy right here that's extremely successful in the college game and understanding the read option and quarterbacks having to run the ball and running spread and combining it with traditional pro football plays that we're accustomed to. But we're going to talk about the read option here. We'll let this thing play out to see exactly what we're talking about. A read option basically is the quarterback is reading a player on the defensive side. A lot of times it's the defensive end leaving him unblocked and whatever he does He'll take the read off of that to decide where the best place is to go with the ball. So as we get to the back, the end zone copy of this, Travell, what we got going on is this right here. This is the cat that, that Cam Newton is going to read. He's going to eyeball him, look right at him, and see is he coming real far inside? Is he coming real far outside? He'll decide from there what to do with it. So Travell, that really makes this play successful because of what Jatavian Clowney does right here. It is, and as you've seen earlier, we saw that Greg Olson was doing this a lot mm -hmm. on a lot of seals, the tosses. But, for instance, he's going to arc release. He's not even going to block him. He may bluff him, and he's going to climb to the second level. That right there lets Cam Reed, Jadavian Clowney. If he's crashed down, he'll pull it. If he goes up, he'll hand it off with the rest of the four guys coming off the ball as it's, it's a zone play or whatever play is called. And that read really – Slows down the defensive end. It makes them think. Yep. And you know what? Let's rewind that a little bit because you, you talked about the zone or it could be any play. You know, for these guys up here, let's pause it right here. They got a couple of double teams that are going to a zone where someone will come off to the next level, come off to the next level. And so let's say he ran outside. That may be a handoff right there to, to um, Jonathan Stewart. But Cam sees Jatavian flying in here. That's an easy read for him. And Cam keeps that sucker and goes out there. And like you said, you look at um, how important Olsen is. First, Cam gets the five yards. But then Olsen's block right here helps get him another five or, or six yards. So that read option, that basic play is another element that defenses have to deal with in, uh, when they're facing the Carolina Panthers. Yeah. But now I'll take it up even another notch. Okay. We're going right from 201, 301. We're going to 401. This is <laughs> almost some graduate level stuff. But what you're going to see is this is against the Texans. Cam Newton, read option again, but he's going to decide. We're going to let this thing run out. But what's going to happen is this guy plays it pretty well. Cam decides he's going to keep this thing and go on a run and go to the inside. And as this thing's playing, what I like about this is Coach Shula – the offensive coordinator has really said that, hey, Cam Newton is our guy. He's tough enough, big enough, and physical enough. He doesn't have to just be an outside runner like a lot of quarterbacks will be in the NFL. He can run it up the middle, and he can take it and make big plays out of it. You can watch more exclusive Panthers TV programming on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Check out Facebook, TWC Sports Channel, NCSC.